Here's an example of how to find an inverse when you have a, a linear equation, just a linear case. So this is a pretty straightforward um, inverse. And let's just start with an equation, something like uh, y equals 2 thirds x minus 5. So that's our equation. Uh, that's, our, that's our function. And what we're going to do is we're going to find um, an inverse for this function. So I'm going to draw that line and just make a little space down below. So now I'm finding the inverse. Remember what an inverse does is the inverse is the thing that undoes a process. So this process takes a number, multiplies it by two thirds, and then subtracts five. And we want to undo that process. So basically we want to add five and then divide by two thirds. Yeah, we could do it that way. Um, I'll show a good way to do it. So first thing that we want to do is, um, is switch X and Y. We're going to switch the input and the output. That's what inverses, um, that's what inverses basically do. They just switch the input and the output. So I'm going to switch X and Y in this equation. I'm just going to rewrite it as X equals uh, two thirds Y minus five. Again, in all that I've done here, I've switched the input and the output spots. This actually um, could is the inverse of that, but it's in a way that our this is you know x is our input and y is our output. So let's solve it so the outputs all the way solved for the the outputs all the way alone, and then we can just uh, deal with the input. So when we know x, we can plug something in. So first thing that I am going to do um, to solve this to get y alone is just add five to both sides, undo that subtracting five, and if I do that, you'll notice that I'll have. Um, x plus 5 equals 2 thirds y. And now, um, there's several different things I could do at this point. One of them is I could just divide both sides by 2 thirds. Divide by 2 thirds. And I'd end up with something kind of ugly if I did that. You know, I'd end up with uh, something that looks like x plus 5 divided by 2 thirds. So that's true, but it's kind of a kind of a mess. So what I'm going to do is, um, since this is multiplied by two thirds, I really want this to be a one Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to multiply this both sides by three halves and multiply this side by three halves. And so notice if I do that, what happens over here is, um, that you can think of it a couple ways. One of them is that's just six sixths, which is one or the twos divide out, the threes divide out, so it's just it's just one. So I'm going to erase this over here, just so I have a little more space over here. And what I end up with is um, I have this three halves x plus five equal to y. So there's an inverse. This is this is the inverse of that. This undoes that. Um, I could go a little further with this too. I could distribute that three halves into there. So let me let me do that. So uh, that would be three halves. Three halves times x is three halves x plus uh, three halves times five. Think of the five as a five over one, and three times five is fifteen. Two times one is two equals y. And there I have the inverse of that. Those are inverses. They undo each other. So if I plug. A value in for x and I get an answer and if I take that answer and plug it in here I'll get my original thing out again that's how inverses work